Yeah. And uh, hopefully there won't be anything more to talk about in the tropics as yeah. far as what's going to hit us. Unfortunately, guys, we're just about a week off of the peak of hurricane season. Right. So still very active out there. We just had Jose yesterday. Yeah. Now we have tropical depression number 14, likely right. going to become tropical storm mm -hmm. Lee okay. within the day. So a lot more going on out there. Here's the latest satellite imagery of Jose. Still a tropical storm this morning and the closest to us here in the <coughs> United States. We'll talk more about that track in a second, but let's go off to the east to talk about tropical depression number 14. It's only a few hundred miles off the coast of Africa now, so very, very far away from any other land masses right now and still too way too early to tell if it's going to impact any areas of land. But 80% chance of a similar system just off to the west of that of becoming named Maria by the time the weekend is out. So here's how it looks with tropical depression number 14 expected to strengthen uh, to tropical, tropical storm Lee within the uh, next 12 to 24 hours as it tracks off to the west northwest and then we got uh, tropical wave invest 96 L that's the one that's probably going to become Maria here computer models forecasting it towards the northern end of the leeward islands by the middle to end of next week so certainly two areas to watch and we're also going to be watching closely here tropical storm Jose that's completed its clockwise loop and is now heading off to the west and eventually to the north strengthening to a category one storm that cone of uncertainty grows quite large at this time in the forecast game but the westernmost edge of that very, very close to the Outer Banks, and yesterday it actually encompassed part of the Outer Banks. So we'll watch it as we go through the weekend to see just how close it makes it to the eastern seaboard. Here's how it looks on live radar this morning. Not a whole lot going on. All the shower activity mainly offshore as a trough of low pressure moved through yesterday and overnight. High pressure moving in behind it. That's going to slide to our north and bring us a pretty nice weekend, although that positioning will drive our winds out of the northeast, which will bring in a little more on the way some cloud cover than we normally like to see. 73 outside right now. A dew point of 71, very close proximity to those two numbers, so we have some areas of fog. Uh, down to five miles now in Melfa, a mile and a half in Norfolk, a quarter mile, excuse me, in Suffolk, a quarter mile in Franklin, and a half mile in Chesapeake. So getting a little more expansive out there and a little bit thicker, so keep that in mind out the door this morning. Here's how it looks on future cast. As we go through the day today, we eventually transition to partly cloudy skies, and we get that daytime heating going. And into the afternoon, that may fire up a stray isolated shower for some of you, about a 20% chance. Sun sets tonight, skies clear out, temperatures drop into the 60s, and tomorrow looking like a nice start to the day, but as those northeasterly winds get cranking, we're going to see a few more clouds building on in, especially in the later part of the day overnight in an early Sunday, but I think we see more in the way of sunshine on your Sunday. 82 today, lingering morning clouds and isolated afternoon shower. Also watch out for those areas of fog. And then tonight we drop back to 69 under partly cloudy skies. It will be rather comfortable. Here's a look at your weekend breakdown. 81 on Saturday, mo partly to mostly cloudy. On Sunday, we're up to 80 degrees, a little more in the way of some sunshine then. And on the other side of the weekend, looking like a set of uh, some breezy and mainly cloudy days for Monday and Tuesday, really depending on where Jose eventually tracks temperatures in the upper 70s to around 80. All right.